Good morning or good afternoon, depending on where you are in the world. And thank you for joining our webinar, ACM Connect, How Automated Supplies Fulfillment is Changing MPS. So before we get started, we've got a few housekeeping items to go through. Number one, and maybe the most important, is you're all muted. So please feel free to uh, actually make as much noise as you like because you're not going to disturb the webinar. Uh, but uh, also, if you have a question uh, throughout the webinar, I would ask you to use the chat feature. Um, and if we don't have a chance to address your question during the webinar, or maybe it doesn't make sense to stop, we will have a Q&A session at the end where we'll just look at all the questions and, and try to answer as many as we can. So we'll also have two poll questions during the presentation. Uh, well, when those come on the screen, just take a few seconds and select the answer that best fits your business or position. Uh, links to the resources mentioned throughout the webinar will be provided uh, in the slide deck or receive in a follow-up email. And the last thing is this presentation is being recorded. So let's get started. My name is David Brown and I'm the Strategic Partnerships Manager for ECI. My role is working with partners like ACM to help you do business more efficiently. And with me today, I have Carolyn Chu, Marketing Manager at ACM. Hello, everybody. All right, so let's get going. Most of you are probably familiar with ECI, so we won't spend a ton of time talking about us, but uh, we always like to start presentations with a short introduction about who we are and what we do. So here at ECI, our focus is building end-to-end -end technology solutions that enable you to grow your business. ECI is very focused on helping small to mid-sized businesses succeed. We have over 20 years of uh, industry experience across several verticals, including office technology and field service. We also have partnerships and integrations with uh, industry-leading vendors like ACM, so we can provide our customers with additional value. And most importantly, we're trusted by over 1,700 service providers. Thanks, everyone. I want to welcome everyone joining this call today. For those of you that are not familiar with ACM, I'll provide a quick overview. ACM is a national distributor of vertical component supplies, and we have an extremely broad range of supply items, which helps ensure that we are able to support all of your potential MPS or automated supplies opportunities. This year, we are proud to be celebrating our 30 years in business. So thank you to all of our dealers on this call that have supported us all these years. One of our recent focus has really been to help dealers automate and streamline their supply fulfillment. So we do that in several ways. We have a large inventory of items available to ship and have the ability to drop ship nationwide within one to two days to most customers. We also have high quality compatible toner cartridges at an affordable price so you can benefit from high profitability. Over the course of the next 30 minutes, we hope to demonstrate how you too can take advantage of what ACM and ECI offer to drive more business and profitability with automated supplies fulfillment. So the purpose of this presentation, as Carol mentioned, is to help you as a reseller understand how adopting ACM Connect as part of your managed print portfolio is not only going to help you deliver a great experience for your customers, but do so in a way that helps you competitively generate recurring revenue without the burden of additional hiring or other infrastructure additions that erode margins. So we'll take a look at some current market conditions, provide an overview of what ACM Connect is and how it works, and also how it helps you as a reseller be more efficient. So let's get started with a market overview and look closely at how the process of ordering supplies has evolved. So if you look back at around 2006, your customer would see that the supply was low. Uh, they're going to get a supply vendor catalog out, probably call or email to place that order. So at best, they could browse the vendor's website and see options of things like real-time stock and pricing were not available at that point. And this method was extremely reactive and it 
could present problems if the item was on back order or if the pricing fluctuated. Now, as you move up the, the ramp there, as more and more resellers began to transition to managed print, in-house supply fulfillment became the norm. More resellers were stocking supply items on site and providing supplies as part of the contract. This was still a very reactive process dependent on the end customer to provide notifications that new supplies were needed. Supply vendors then started adopting e-commerce platforms, allowing the customers to order online. Dealers began offering in-house supply fulfillment to support their managed print contracts. So at this point, using device monitoring software like a print fleet, this is the first active supply fulfillment, or the first, I'm sorry, proactive supply fulfillment. And the difference between reactive and proactive was, was drastic because this improvement meant the customer experience changed and the customer no longer needed to be involved in the ordering process. When you remove the customer effort, that's a significant step and it allowed um, the provider the ability to truly manage that supply fulfillment process. And this is by and large where the majority of you are today. The next step, and what we're going to spend some time talking about today, is a completely data-driven process that is initially configured based on the customer's needs, and afterwards, the place orders to ACM as needed. As we talk about proactive automated processes, we see evidences in consumer technology that point us in this direction. So we're in the early days of autonomous vehicles. That's all over the news. Cars that can drive themselves. And if mankind can create a self-driving car, it's really not too ambitious to think that print devices can order their own supplies. The point is that the Internet of Things very much includes print devices. And the sooner we embrace that way of thinking as an industry, the better we'll be able to serve a customer base that's becoming more and more accustomed to these types of solutions. So if you look, consumable replenishment is a huge opportunity for companies ready to embrace the Internet of Things capability. You know, we see refrigerators marketed to us that have scanners that let us know what items we're out of, and they can, oh, place a grocery list with our grocery store online through an app. Nest thermostats regulate consumption of energy based on whether we're in the house or in the room. So if, if technology on the consumer side is any indication, our clients are expecting this type of capability from us today. true automated supply fulfillment. So the term automated supply fulfillment gets thrown around a lot, and it, it reminds me of, you know, seven or eight years ago, the term managed print means different things to different people. When we're talking about true automation, that means we have technology managing processes rather than people. And we have systems talking to each other instead of people. Now, a lot of you are going to kind of recoil at that and say, well, that's Sounds pretty impersonal. You know, we're very high touch with our customers. I get that, and that that may be right. And there's there's value in that, but also there's value in providing your customers the best experience. And that means not bogging down their time by having them have to participate in the order process, and have to call you to order supplies, to have to uh, take part in that in some way. So we can remove that from them and give them you know, time back. And the benefit of automation doesn't really begin and end with just the customer. When systems talk to one another, you don't bog down your employees' time placing orders. Those orders go straight to ACM. You may be thinking that in an automated process, well, does that mean somebody loses their job? No, what we've seen is when a reseller moves to automation, that role that previously monitored fleets for supply orders can be better used to deploy more data collection agents and consult on the technical specifics of managed print. So that employee is typically a great resource to talk to customers about device management and how automated supply fulfillment works. They're more engaged in revenue generating uh, activities. So let's look at a couple of real-world scenarios. And they're on the screen in front of you. Scenario A should look very familiar. as It's very common in the marketplace today. And the major difference between scenario A and scenario B is that scenario A requires much more human intervention and oversight. 
as long as your current infrastructure is optimized to your customer base, that works. That's profitable. The issue occurs when you scale up with more customers, devices, and contracts. And we all want more customers, devices, and contracts under management. That's the plan. We're going to grow. So as you grow, you're going to need to scale up in space for inventory and additional personnel to place orders. And the moment you need to do that, the moment you need more personnel, the moment you need more space, your profitability starts to suffer. That is, until your customer base then grows to the point that your infrastructure is optimized again. Scenario B allows you to scale your business without the necessity of increased warehouse space or through more personnel. It relies on scalable automation. Your business is not going to require additional warehouse space or additional people to accommodate supply fulfillment for a growing customer base. Now, there's a third scenario out there, and that's that you're not monitoring supply levels at all. And if this is the case, your competition's out offering customers a proactive experience you can't currently provide. Using ACM Connect will change that for you. So we're ready for our first poll. And we'll get that up on the screen. So the question that we're asking is, what's the most compelling reason to adopt automated supply fulfillment? So we can improve customer experience and retention. C, reduce labor hours spent processing orders. C, expand geographic footprint and coverage. Or D, reduce toner inventory levels and dead inventory. So take a few seconds. We'll give you about 10 or 15 seconds uh, to, to process your, your submission. Thanks everyone for participating. We're just going to give you about 10 more seconds to get voted because we'd really like to hear from as many of you as possible. So if you haven't voted, please vote and we'll shut it down in five seconds. Perfect. Thanks everyone. So we'll put the, uh, the responses on the screen there and improving customer experience and retention. That seemed to be huge, and, and, and you're right, we, we hear more and more about customer experience um, in the news and, 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 with, and with more um, you know, more feedback available in terms of reviews and you know, online reviews, online feedback, customer experience is critical. So I would agree with you guys on that one. All right, now Carolyn's going to take us through how ACM Connect actually works. Thank you, David. So to give you a better picture of how automated supply fulfillment works, we will show you the typical flow from setup to order fulfillment for a typical end customer. Of course, there are more technical details behind each of these steps, but I'm only going to provide you with a high-level overview today. Once you sign up for the program, we will work with you on how to execute each of these steps in detail. So step one, so a typical deployment starts with installing a device collection agent on the customer's network, which we call DCA for short. This is a small application that can be installed either on a computer server or a desktop computer. Once the DCA is installed, it will start collecting device data and usage information. Through this process, it will build a database of devices that are on the customer's network as well as monitor supply status and usage. The devices that are monitored will then show up in the ACM Connect portal for you to view. At this point, you, the reseller, will work with the customer to decide which devices you want to enable for automated supply fulfillment. For example, it can be all the devices on the network or just a subset of devices. You can make that determination and only you enable the devices you want to automate. Once you have enabled these devices, ACM Connect will monitor the toner levels on an ongoing basis. So by looking at historical usage trends and current toner levels, 
The system projects that coin is needed any given month and generate one stocking order each month to cover all the toners that are needed. And by consolidating all the needed cartridges in a monthly order, that means you save on shipping costs and reduce the number of shipments customers have to receive and process. And don't forget, if you're on our private labeling program, your logo will be on all of the toner cartridges shipped to your customer. Of course, no algorithm is perfect, and the customer usage may spike at any given point in time due to special project or increased workload. The ASIM Connect system has an emergency threshold built in, so if for some reason there is a device running low on toner due to higher usage and there isn't a spare toner there, the system will actually trigger an order right away just for that device instead of waiting for the monthly order to ship out. This helps ensure that your customers never run out of toner, no matter what their usage looks like. While the ordering process and fulfillment happens automatically with no need for you or the end user to take any action, you will be notified every step of the way whenever there is an order. And you would also have an opportunity to stop the order before you ship if you choose so. So while the system is automated, you maintain full visibility and control. So that is a high level overview of how a typical deployment works. Now I'll talk about a few specific features of ACM Connect that will really deliver value to you and your customers. First, a lot of this work of mapping supplies to devices have already been completed on the back end. So if a device is picked up by the DCA, the system will automatically assign a supply skew to that device based on your settings. This will save you time from having to manually look for a matching supply item for each device. As I mentioned before, you have full flexibility to decide which devices you want to manage. So for example, a customer might have 100 devices on the network. If you choose to only automate 10 devices out of the 100, you will have the ability to do that. We want to provide you with the flexibility you need to customize the solution to each situation that you might encounter. The order, ordering process is done via EDI interface between ECI and ACM. The connections are already set up so that when an order is triggered by the device, the order is automatically sent to ACM to fulfill. I talked briefly on how the system monitors customer usage and current supply levels to predict when the device will run out of toner. This system will actually get more accurate over time as it sees more usage information. But the goal is to ensure that a toner cartridge arrives at the customer site before they even know they need it instead of waiting for them to see a low toner warning. Another feature of ACM Connect is that you will have all the details about any order available in the ACM Connect portal. Separately, you'll also be notified via email whenever an order is processed and shipped, and that same notification can be set up for the end user. That way they know to accept when a toner shipment is on its way. And lastly, the greatest feature of ACM Connect is that we are not charging dealers to use this service. You can have 100 devices monitored, or let's say 1,000 devices monitored, and the cost of the service is the same, which is zero as long as you meet the minimum requirement of one cartridge per quarter per device. You will have to pay for the actual toners that are shipped out and the freight associated with it, but that's it. So we've discussed several of the benefits of ACM Connect, and thanks, Carolyn, for that overview. But let's spend some time talking and walking through some of the more impactful ones for your organization. So as a vendor, you want to provide a higher level of satisfaction and efficiency. Absolutely. From an inventory standpoint, now you don't need to create space for additional, uh, for additional inventory or even manage the inventory in your existing space. The supply is delivered directly to the customer with your label. How many times have you had a customer call 
from more tone around, oh, by the way, they're completely out. The machine's not printing, so can you get it here ASAP? By using true automation in ACM Connect, you're going to have fewer rush orders that occur when the customer has waited until the machine stops printing to call. Their supplies are going to arrive when they need them to. Now, because ACM Connect generates an order as soon as the device says it's time, there's no need for your team to review reports and manually order supplies. This reduces the time spent and, in turn, the cost associated with fulfilling that order. Locked in revenue stream. This is my favorite. So, another way to think of this is that you're automating your customers' purchases from you. I mean, isn't that what every business wants? The ability to sell their customers repeatedly on a guaranteed basis? Because of these supplies, because these supplies are under contract and the orders are created as needed, and that's, that's essentially what you're doing. It's exactly what you're doing. Your customers will thank you for it because they get a better experience as well. And we talked about lower time and cost, uh, but with ACM Connect, the overall administrative burden is reduced. You sell, you sell the device, you set up ACM Connect, and it's hands off from a supply standpoint. So if I could summarize this slide in one sentence, it would be this. ACM Connect provides a locked-in revenue stream while reducing your time and effort. So why would your customers want to take advantage of this? Well, the reason is simple, and we've talked about it, um, and you guys mentioned this on the poll earlier, they get a better experience. And by better experience, I mean they no longer need to be involved in keeping extra cartridges stored or in any part of that placing the order. They don't have to keep up with which cartridges they need to purchase for which devices. In short, they get to be more productive because you've given them part of their work day back. And as I said earlier, that's an experience they'll thank you for. So we're ready for our second poll. And let's uh, go ahead and get that loaded up there. So what impact do you think an automated supply fulfillment solution would have on the efficiency and profitability of your business? So it's going to significantly increase it. Uh, efficiency and profitability have some positive impact, not sure, or maybe you think it's going to have little to no impact. We'll give you, again, a few 10 to 15 seconds there to start getting your submissions in. Again, thanks everyone for voting. We really appreciate it. Just give you a couple more seconds. You've almost all voted. All right, we will share that. All right, so we've got uh, um, kind of split there between you know significant increase and have some positive impact. So, so mostly our uh, webinars. Uh, attended by you know optimists today. So everybody thinks there's going to be some impact, and then there's a group of uh, uh, not sures in there as well, and skeptics. So I, I totally get that. You know, we're talking about you know changing the way that we do business, changing the way that we're delivering a service to our customers. So um, yes, and I think we we can kind of agree that there's going to be some impact positively for our own organizations and for our customers. All right, thank you, Elise. We can we'll move on. And that kind of brings us to the next uh, to the next uh, topic is how do you get started? So we are changing the way that we're doing business. We're changing the way that we serve our customers, and that sounds good. And and we think there's going to be some positive impact to it. The the, the question is how do I how do I start using this? And that can be daunting. So here's some examples of, of ways that other dealers have gone about using this solution. So we'll just get started if, uh, at the first bullet. If you're like, if you're like most dealers, your top 20% of your customer base makes up about 80% of your rev revenue, revenue. And you may be hesitant to mess with that group. Like you don't want to touch them. You don't want to do anything new with them. So you may prefer to continue with your existing processes with those customers. That's the other 80% that are going to tax your infrastructure. 
And that's the group that you can look to to start implementing AC and Connect so that you don't stretch your finite resources providing supplies for them. You know, let those let the devices place orders to ACM automatically for that other 80%. Now, this, uh, another suggestion is that your as your customer base grows and you approach the point where you need to hire more staff to accommodate it, like we talked about you know, a few slides ago, that's where you can begin putting new customers on ACM Connect. You know, hey, we're at a threshold where our infrastructure is maxed for the customers we have. Now, for any additional customers, we put them on ACM Connect. And that's going to help you preserve your overall operating margin. You know, another way is to use it for interterritorial customers. If they're outside your service area, it's not a problem. ACM is going to uh, drop ship this with your label to those customers. Yeah, and that, that seems to work really well. And then finally, uh, use a ACM Connect for a specific profile. So, for example, if uh, they're a new customer and they have less than 20 devices, put them on ACM Connect. And that profile can be whatever helps you run more efficiently. So you can determine that you're going to know your business better than, than we will. The point is, it can seem like a daunting challenge to change, but if you think about it and, and do it strategically, it can fit nicely into your, your overall strategy in a variety of different ways. So, so just a few suggestions there. So now we're coming toward the end of the, the webinar, uh, of the formal part of that, but here's a few, a few resources and contacts that uh, you can use. So this will be in the recording, so don't feel like you have to scramble and get the pen and paper out now. We'll leave those up for just a few seconds. All right. Carolyn, you want to talk about getting started? Yeah, for those of you who are interested in signing up for ACM Connect, you can email me directly at ACM Connect at acmtext.com, as you see on the screen, and I will send you a form to get started. So don't worry, just set up the process, it's really easy. Once ACM receives your sign-up form, we will create an account for you and send you all the necessary details on how to log into the ACM Connect portal. And then you'll get detailed instructions on how to install the GPA and, you know, begin managing devices at your customer site. Thanks, Carolyn. And so I think now we're ready for questions. Now let's see what we Hi, have. Hi, David. Yeah, we do have a, a couple questions today. So one of the first questions um, is if you already have a customer with a DCA, a Print Fleet DCA installed, how would that work? Yeah, it's a great question. So if you already have a Print Fleet DCA uh, in that customer's environment, then just Send that form to Carolyn. What we'll do on the back is we'll use that existing DCA to connect to AC and connect. So you won't have to do anything on the technical side new for that customer. You already have the, the appropriate collection agent in place. Okay. Um, what if you use FM Audit? How does that work? Yeah, the great, another great question. So if you use FM Audit, FM Audit's been a part of the ECI ecosystem for a much longer time than, than Printfleet has. So that you would use a connection with uh, eAutomate through PO Processor to you to do um, the automation in much the same way. It's, it's, a, it's a different program, and ACM, is, you know, a partner has provided you a connection with ACM Connect through Print Fleet or with the PO processor through FM Audit and eAutomate. So you can use uh, either process to create that automation and create those uh, orders to ACM. Okay. Um, and then another question more about uh, the percentage of toner. So what percentage do you recommend um, to set these alerts or to ship toner at? Generally, looking at the volumes, they'll start them uh, somewhere around 15 to 20 percent. But if it's a higher volume device, uh, maybe looking at uh, going outside of that band somewhere. But the, the the great thing about the program is that it's customizable on a per device basis. So if you've got high volume devices and low volume devices in the same environment, uh, you can uh, you can kind of optimize those.
Okay. Um, and then I think that's about it. Um, we do have some questions in the question feature that we will follow up on after. Uh, but if you have any other last minute questions, please get them into the question feature so that we can uh, follow up appropriately. Okay. Um, well, with that, I appreciate everyone attending today. Thank you for uh, your question. And again, we've got some, I think several there that, uh, or, or maybe one off questions, we'll respond to those individually. So thank you for those as well, and we will get to them. Uh, you will receive a re uh, link with the recording, so you can go back and and listen at your your convenience. But again, thank you for for joining, Carolyn. Did you want to say a few words as well? Thank you, everyone, for joining. I will be sending out a follow up email. So if you have any questions or sign up, make sure to email me at the uh, information that I provided earlier, but we will be reaching out to you guys individually in case you guys missed anything or have any questions. Thank you so much. All right, thanks everyone.